okay. Britain can be a very stormy place, and big storms can mean big waves. The Cornish coast gets our biggest breakers, where 10-metre monsters have been recorded. <laughs> but not all waves are equal. There are different sorts as well as different sizes, all created by a complex interplay of wind and sea. Cornwall gets the biggest waves because with the most miles of Atlantic Ocean between it and America, there's the most space to make big waves. Out there, wind blows across the surface of the sea and it pushes energy into the water, creating lots of little ripples. The longer, faster and further the wind blows, the larger the waves that are created. The biggest waves that hit British shores are often only the tail end of much larger waves that start way out to sea. And to experience those, I need to go indoors. Plymouth University has a brand new state-of-the-art wave lab where scientists can simulate sea conditions miles offshore without getting cold or wet, all to help them study the awesome power of the ocean. Dave Simmons is a physicist and specialist in the science of waves. We've got 24 paddles and we can control each of them individually, which means we can effectively make any wave climate that we want. And what's the biggest wave you can make? We can produce waves of up to about a metre in this tank. These paddles do what the wind does, transferring energy into the water. Bring it on. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. They're beautifully regular, aren't they? Yes. You can see all the paddles are working together and they're pushing the water all in the same direction to produce a nice clean wave. They're mesmerising but you'd never get waves this regular at sea because the combination of winds, tide and current is much more haphazard, like this. Scaled up, these waves would be about 12 metres, the average stormy sea, and ocean-going ships are designed to cope with anything up to 15 metres. That's the height of a four-storey building. But very occasionally, Freak waves are formed. Out at sea, lots of stormy, random waves can join together to make one huge wave that can tower 30 metres and sink the largest of ships. Can we see it? Can we sink a boat? Yes, we can. <laughs> Excellent. I hoped you were going to say that. This model tanker is 32 times smaller than the real thing. And with a bit of high-tech precision positioning, it's now in Dave's danger zone. OK, here they go. Little baby waves. It's about to be hit by a freak wave equivalent to 32 metres. Oh, it's quite exciting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Well and truly sunk. Clearly, this wonderful machine was not made so that the One Show could sink toy boats. What they are going to do here, though, is use these waves to test the next generation of wave-powered electricity generators that will hopefully enable us to extract some of the enormous power out of the waves all around our coastline. Well, Marty, you were having a whale of a 